Dating in America. How black men are raised, single mothers, what men are looking for in a woman. Video number 9. Before we start. This is for people living in the United States. I put this in the front of all my videos that are in English because I want to help people with their student loans. I know many people think, feel, or believe that they will never pay off their student loans. Yes, they are right. They are correct. There are over 2 million people over the age of 60 that are still paying off their student loans. There is a federal law that was passed in the 80s that will get rid of all your student loans in 25 years. The link to this video is at the top of this video, in the description below, and will be at the end of this video. Many people think that black or African American neighborhoods are not safe. People believe that my community is filled with guns, drug dealers, and the majority of black people are poor. All of this is not true. This is another typical or common black or African American neighborhood. This home is on Ballantrae Way in Flossmoor, Illinois. It is a five bedroom, three bath house, with a finished basement. It costs $450,000. I know the title of this video will make some people curious, and since I got your attention, I want to tell you the following before we start. For all the women watching this video, if you are in college and looking for a nice guy, then go to the College of Math and Science, or the College of Engineering. There are no females at these colleges. The men at these colleges will be surprised to see even one female. They will not know what to do. Just go to one of these colleges around the same time and sit in the same place. One day, one of the guys will build up enough courage and might try to say hi. Do not expect more than just a hi. These kinds of men are not used to talking to females. For all the men in college, all the females are in the College of Nursing, Dance, Art, Education, and Theater. There are no men at these colleges. The College of Dance and Music has computer labs, and they are filled with women. I used to work in a computer lab for the College of Music, and it was nothing but women. No men. I took a computer animation dance class, and a nursing class, and I was the only male in the class. I was in a lecture hall of 50 women, and I was the only man in the class. Plus, I want to tell all of the men watching this video that there is a section in this video just for men. It tells you in general terms what you might be able to expect, and it provides a lifestyle that you might not have considered. A lifestyle that one day I personally hope to achieve. How Black Men Are Raised What I am going to tell you does not apply to mama's boys. Mama's boys are the same in every culture. They are used to their mother doing everything. The cooking, the cleaning, washing clothes or doing the laundry, washing dishes, all of it. Thus, if you marry a mama's boy, he will expect you to do the same stuff as his mother. However, the following applies to most of the black men in America. White men and Asian men, those cultures are a little different. Therefore, this does not apply to white men or Asian men. If the black man comes from a rich family or a poor family does not matter. Most black men are raised the same way. At least all of the black men I know are raised this way. When I was in grad school, this one girl named Anna said to me that she thought that black men did not help around the house when it came to cooking and cleaning. My college roommate, Mark, who is white, married his college sweetheart named Paula. This is Mark and I when we were in college. I do not have a picture of Paula. Mark was raised in a family that had girls. The girls would do all the cooking and cleaning, and the boys worked outside. Thus, Mark had to get used to doing this stuff for himself. Paula would visit Mark and me at our apartment in college, and the apartment was always clean. Thus, Paula thought that Mark was not typical, and that Mark cleaned and cooked. After they got married, Mark went back into the habit of letting the woman do all the cooking and cleaning. Paula had to train Mark to help with the cooking and the cleaning. 
she realized that it was me who kept the apartment clean. Mark is not a dirty guy, he did clean the apartment but not as much as I did. I wrote an article about Mark and Paula. The link to the article is in the description below. Most black men were raised to cook and clean. All of the black men I knew in college always kept their places clean. If the black man you are dating or is married to is not helping with the cooking and cleaning, then just say the following words to him. Did your mother not show you how to cook and clean? You just won the argument. Black families in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s were mostly families where both parents worked. Thus, many black children were raised to come home after school, clean the house, and have dinner ready before their parents got home from work. In the 60s and the 70s, in the black household, it was the mothers and not the fathers that did all of the cooking and the cleaning. However, at the same time, our mothers were teaching her boys to cook and clean. Thus, it was our mothers that changed the culture. If you were born in the 60s or the 70s, and got married in the 80s or the 90s, plus you had no kids, then whoever got home first would cook the dinner. Plus, both the man and the woman would clean the house. This is or was the black culture. However, my brother Rick and I were raised in the same house and under the same rules. When Rick was in college, he kept his place clean. When Rick got his apartment after college, he kept his place clean. After Rick got married to his first wife, he became a slob. Three wives in total. So far. Rick is such a slob that you have to re-clean or clean the clean dishes before you can cook anything. What Rick attempts to do is pretend that he does not know how to do it right, or disappears when work needs to get done, which kind of explains why he had three wives. Single mothers. Every black man in America has a family member who is a single mother. This can be his sister, aunt, grandmother, cousin, etc. Plus, many black men were raised by single mothers. Plus, the white and Asian communities also have a lot of single mothers with children in America, but I do not know anything about their culture when it comes to dating a single mother with children. None of my Asian friends have dated a single mother, and for my white friends, it seems like it is no big deal if the woman has children. Because of this, if the black man is a professional or a laborer, it is no big deal to date or marry a single mother with kids. However, it must be the right kind of woman. Most men in general would prefer not to date or marry a single mother, and I can go into the reasons why, and there are a lot of reasons. However, I will not talk about the reasons. When my cousin Marcia had three kids, she had a boyfriend. When she had four kids, she was able to get a new boyfriend, and when she had five kids, she got married to a new guy. All of her kids are from three different men. Plus, Marcia knows that kids can cost a lot of money, and this is why she told each guy that it is okay not to plan dates that cost money. That they could go to the park and bring a lunch. Everything is new to kids, so you can take them almost anywhere, and they will have a good time. Marcia was able to find a good guy to marry, because after three failed relationships, she learned how to be in a relationship. Most important is that she learned how to be in a relationship as a single mother. Marcia told me that she always tells the guy before or during the first date that she has kids. Plus, Marcia said that when the relationship started to get serious, Marcia talked to the guy, and they both talked about how the kids will be raised and disciplined. It has been over 10 years, and Marcia is still married. Black men understand that when it comes to dating or marrying a single mother is different than dating a woman with no children. One of the biggest issues is not about the money, because we know that if the single mother can take care of her kids now, without your money, then she does not need your money to take care of her kids. However, when you date a single mother, sometimes you have to plan dates that involve the kids. This can cost money. If the kids do not come along on the date, then you have to help pay for the babysitting costs. One of my friends was dating a girl who had three kids. He got a part-time job so that he could afford to date the girl and take her kids with them on dates. He did not marry the woman, because the woman kept telling him that these are my kids, etc. Plus, there are a lot of single mothers that do not take into account that going from a house with no kids to a house full of kids means that the other person has to adjust. Plus, the kids have to adjust to a new parent, or having three to four parents. Your new boyfriend, plus the biological father and his new girlfriend. Dating a single mother can be a challenge for a lot of reasons. I am not going to talk about all of the reasons. However, for a lot of good men who are black, white, or Asian, the girl does not have to be the prettiest or the hottest girl, she just cannot be too crazy. 
I and many of my black and white male friends all said that if she was crazy when she was young, she is going to be crazy when she gets old. Do not forget to click subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video. Do not be afraid of black men. They say that 54% of black men in America are unmarried and have no children. If you want to know why, then watch the Melanie King YouTube channel, and you will understand why. I will leave a link to her channel in the description below. Most black men, but not all black men from America that come to your country looking for a woman, will be kind, caring, affectionate, and considerate. Plus, these black men will appreciate you. However, some men who are black, white, or Asian will think or believe that they are doing you a favor, and that you should be grateful. For these kinds of men, run. Leave them alone. The relationship will not get better over time, it will only get worse. If the man is a good man, and if you show up or visit him out of the blue, unexpected, then he will be good with it and will appreciate you coming to see him. The man might look at other women, but he will spend almost all of his free time with you or with the kids. For most men in the world, the most beautiful thing in the world are females. Not a sunset, not a car, and not a painting, but a female. This is why there are strip clubs in every country, and adult entertainment from every country. This is just how men are built. Just because we look does not mean we want to be with that female. We are just looking. Plus, it does not mean that we think she is prettier than you. If she is or is not prettier than you, do not cross our minds. We are just looking. American men, black, white, and Asian men are trained or conditioned since we're children to never hit a woman. If you hit a woman in America, you go to jail, and the costs of court and anger management classes can be a lot of money. We like women from your country because we believe that you will never be verbally, psychologically, or emotionally abusive. Yes, you might say things that are hurtful or that you might regret, but this is not the same as being verbally, psychologically, or emotionally abusive. Many women in America are verbally, psychologically, or emotionally abusive because they know we can never hit them, and that the only thing we can do is leave and not come back. If the woman attempts to physically prevent the man from leaving, we cannot even push her out of the way because the police might think we hit the woman. If the man is working, do not expect him to text or call you back immediately, because he is working. Working is important to us. We need to work to make sure we can make enough money to take care of ourselves and our future families. In America, it can be difficult for a black man to get a good job, and we do not want to have to go through looking for a job again. For example, a black man might have to go on 20 different job interviews before he gets a good job, where a white man only has to go on 5 job interviews to get a good job. Plus, many black men have to be 5 to 10 times better than most white men to get the same job. This is why many black men, even if they have their own business, have issues with being disturbed while they are working. It does not mean that you cannot surprise him and go to lunch with him, but do not be surprised if he tells you he cannot because of work. My dumbass is retired but I am still attempting to translate my videos into other languages. It is hard to get out of this mindset. If a guy from American or European, and is 40 years old, 50 years old, or even 60 years old, comes to your country looking for a woman, it might mean that his income is around $1,000 a month, which is not big enough for most American or European women to consider dating or marrying. However, in your country, an income of $1,000 might be considered middle class. In most places in America, $1,000 a month is not enough money to pay for rent and food for one person. Here in Chicago, if your income for one person is below $1,200 a month, then you qualify for government help. A $1,200 a month of income means you are poor, and in many places in America, it will mean that you are homeless, and living on the street. For all the men. Below, in the description, I put some YouTube videos to other channels to help answer any questions you might have. So, look at these videos. You might be surprised at what you find. Me, I am retired, and I want to find a place I can afford. I want to live on the beach or close to a beach. So, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos, and I mean a lot. The following is what I concluded. For all the black men, white men, and Asian men, who are 40 years old, 50 years old, or even 60 years old, and if your income is about $1,000 a month, then you can go to Thailand, Vietnam, 
the Philippines, or Eastern European countries such as Romania, Serbia, Poland, Hungary and find a beautiful woman between the ages of 20 and 40 years old that would love to marry you. I pick these countries because most of the people in these countries speak English. There is this one 70 year old man that has a 25 years old Filipino wife. His total income is about $800 a month. In the Philippines, the age gap is not a big deal. He rents a one bedroom apartment in the Philippines. His total monthly living cost is $800 a month for two people, and this includes food, rent, transportation, all of it. Plus, the Philippines are filled with great beautiful beaches just minutes from your front door. I will leave a link to the video in the description below. There is a 52 years old man that lives in Vietnam, and he has a beautiful 25 years old Vietnamese girlfriend. I have seen videos where the man is over the age of 50 years old, walking down a street, and some very young beautiful Vietnamese women approach them. However, these men are attractive. Thus, in Vietnam, the age gap is not a big deal if you are an attractive older man. The cost of living in Vietnam is about the same as the Philippines. However, for the same price as an apartment in the Philippines, you can get a much nicer apartment in Vietnam or Thailand. Plus, Vietnam also has some great beautiful beaches, but you have to go looking for them. These beaches are not in major areas. In Thailand, the living costs can be about the same as the Philippines, or you can pay a lot more. Thailand has a lot of great beaches, but you have to go outside of a major area to find a town with a great beach that does not have a lot of tourists. Plus, the age gap is not a big deal if you are an attractive older man. However, since Thailand was once known as the adult playground of the world, the women in Thailand have a lot of experience when it comes to Western men. Basically, do not date a bar girl in Thailand or the Philippines, or you will lose all of your money. They say that the safest way to find a woman in Thailand or the Philippines is to date a woman that has a job that allows her to support herself. Many older men from the countries of England and Sweden marry very young Thai women, move back to their home country, and seem to be very happy. It was so common in England that they had a television show about it. Yes, there are many stories about an old man marrying a young, beautiful woman from the Philippines and Thailand, moved back to the man's country, and then all hell breaks out. They blame it on the woman becoming just like the women in their home country. They say that the women in their home country gave their Asian wife advice to leave their man for a new younger version. However, when you look deeper into these stories, you find that the man married a bar girl, or a scammer. Thus, the man was being scammed before they moved to his country. Plus, the other men did something stupid, and the woman was doing payback. Thus, when you hear these kinds of stories where the man married a woman from another country, they moved back to his home country, and she did him wrong. You should look deeper into the story because most of the time, you will find that it was because of stupidity on the man's part. People forget that women from other countries know that the older she gets, the harder it will be to find a good man. She knows that most men just want to sleep with her and do not want a real relationship. Thus, bringing her back to America is not a problem unless she was scamming you from the start. When a man goes overseas and finds a woman, these women look for the same thing as American women. One major difference is that our income here in America might only be $1,000 a month, but overseas an income of $1,000 a month can be equal to middle class in their country. The women overseas also know that most American or Western European men will not cheat, will not hit them, and will attempt to take care of the family. Plus, most American or Western European men are affectionate, caring, considerate, and understanding. Plus, many American or Western European women are used to this kind of treatment, and take it for granted. Many women in Southeast Asia are not used to this kind of treatment, and they like it. A lot. In many of these countries the man is king. This means that compared to how women are treated and are respected in America, women in other countries are treated with little consideration. In one YouTube video, there is a black American woman who lives in Japan, was dating a Japanese man, and they both worked. However, the man still expected her to cook all the meals, make sure his breakfast was ready, clean the house, and take care of the children. This is the culture in Japan. She let him know that she is a black American female. In Vietnam, a woman discovered that her man was cheating. An American man asked her if she was going to break up with him. She said no, he was just being a bad boy. Thus, in some cultures, it is understood that a man will cheat. I have seen some YouTube videos where the man was hitting the woman in a nightclub or on the street, and no one did anything about it. In another YouTube video, there is this one black American man who lives in Japan, and when he was home, and his Japanese girlfriend was at work, he would clean, 
cook, and do the laundry. She really liked it. She asked him why he did such things for her. He said because this is how he was raised. The problem is that now she wants to get married. These are some of the reasons why I have seen many YouTube videos where the women in Southeast Asia say that after dating an American or Western European man, it is hard to go back to dating men of their own culture. Thus, the women in these countries know that men from America have a lot more to offer than just money. Money is a benefit, but unlike in America, it is not a major priority when it comes to marrying a man. Plus, in many Southeast Asia and Eastern European countries, when a couple gets a divorce, the woman gets nothing. Plus, like in the Philippines, there is no such thing as a divorce, and no such thing as child support. There is child support. However, the procedure is so difficult you might as well say that there is no such thing as child support. In addition, in some Southeast Asia and Eastern European countries, it is not domestic violence unless she bleeds, and in many of these countries there are no social programs such as food stamps. Because of all of this, many women in these countries know that if she marries a man, she will be in the marriage for a long time. Therefore, her top priority is to find a man that she can live with on a day-to-day -day basis. Thus, these are more reasons why women in these countries know that men from America have a lot more to offer than just money. These are also additional reasons why money and age are not always their top priorities. For Eastern European countries such as Romania, Serbia, Poland, and Hungary, the costs of living can be close to the Philippines, and many people in these countries speak English. In regards to the age gap, I do not know anything about it. Very few foreign men visit these countries. So, all foreign men are new and interesting to these women. Especially black men, because most have never seen a black man except on television. So, expect a lot of attention, looks, and stares. Most of the people that live in these countries do not know the differences between an African compared to an African American. Plus, for all of these countries, when it comes to black men or black American people, they are not racists. All of the black people, men and women, that live in these countries, including Japan, say that they feel safer living in these countries compared to living in America. Many of them said that they are not moving back to America. I was surprised when so many black Americans living in Japan said that they are never moving back to America. Countries such as Brazil, Colombia, and Japan can cost a little more in regard to rent, food, and transportation compared to Southeast Asian countries. In regards to the age gap in Brazil, Colombia, and Japan, I do not know anything about it. In addition, you must learn the language. However, a lot of people in Brazil speak English, but not in Japan. Japan is only expensive in the major cities. A lot of the women living in these countries are not interested in moving to America. They love their country. The women in Japan are probably making more money than you. So, they are not looking for a green card. However, Korea and Japan have a saying in regards to dying at work. They say that over 2,000 men die at work each year in Japan. So the women in Japan might be interested in leaving their country so that they will not die at work. The Japanese and Korean working culture is insane. It is nuts. However, Mexico has one of the best working cultures for professionals. A lot better than the United States. The point is that many American or Western European values do not translate to other countries. Plus, I know you see a lot of people at the border of the United States looking to get in. However, those people are not from Thailand, Mexico, Japan, Brazil, Colombia, Vietnam, and most Eastern European countries. Everyone is not looking to move to the United States. Therefore, if you get a woman for one of these countries, you might have to move to the woman's country to be with her. Plus, most of these women will want to have children, so if you are not interested in having children, then leave them alone. Do not forget that there are videos all over YouTube from men and women that have moved to these countries, live on the beach, or close to the beach for $1,000 a month, and this includes rent, food, transportation, and travel. Therefore, do your research. Now to all of the black men. I heard that if you visit Brazil, the place to go is Sao Paulo, Brazil. If you visit Colombia, the place to go is Medellin, Colombia, which is pronounced Medellin. I also heard that Vietnam is good for black men, because during the Vietnam War the black soldiers treated the Vietnam people better than the white soldiers. Everyone has their favorites. The top three are Thailand, Colombia, and Brazil. Vietnam is not on this list only because when most men go to Southeast Asia, they first go to Thailand, and never make it to any other country. Thus, Thailand is very good for black men. Please see the video in the description below called Zoom to Thailand for more details. 
If you are an old overweight white man, then the Philippines is supposed to be great for you. For Eastern Europe, Serbia is supposed to be great for black men. This is what I am going to do. Sometime in 2024 I will visit many of these countries and see for myself. If I find a girl, then great, and if I do not, at least I will be kicking it on a beach, out of the cold of Chicago. Plus, I will record all of my adventures and post them on YouTube. Yes, I know I will hear stuff like I am a dirty old man, that I am taking advantage of these poor women, and all of that stuff. I do not care. My happiness is not based on what some other person thinks how life should be. Plus, these women are not dumb. Older men or men collecting social security or a government pension are gold to these women. They want to get pregnant by an older man, by men over the age of 50 year old. They know that they just have to go to the United States Embassy and say they have your baby, and they will get guaranteed child support. Even if you die, they know that they will get social security benefits for the child. We Americans might need at least $600 a month of income to live in their country, but the locals live on a lot less. Thus, $200 of guaranteed income a month in child support can be a good living. Do not forget that even with a college degree, unemployment is high. Plus, local men might have two to three baby mamas, there are no social programs like food stamps, and getting child support from a local man is almost impossible. If I can offer something better than what they have or could dream of, then why not? If the woman is living in poverty, and if I were not there, she would still be living in poverty. At least I might be able to offer or provide hope for a better future for her and her kids. Me, I am a good guy. I am caring, affectionate, loving, considerate, and kind. I will do my best to take care of her and our kids. If she decides to leave me one day, then fine. At least I had her, and she gave me wonderful children. This is more than what many older men in America have now, or could have if we stayed here in America. Thus, for me, it is worth it. Plus, do not forget that they say that 54% of black men in America are unmarried and have no children. If you want to know why, then watch the Melanie King YouTube channel, and you will understand why. I will leave a link to her channel in the description below. I look at it as if we both are trying to fulfill each other's dreams. Plus, Hugh Hefner, the owner of Playboy, was an 80-year-old man who had a house full of 19 to 20-year-old women. 19 and 20-year-old women chasing him. As the saying goes, if you are rich and you take a girl on a picnic, then you are romantic, and if you are poor and take a girl on a picnic, then you are cheap. The bottom line is I am going to be happy, and no one is going to dictate my happiness but me. I am the one that has to live with my decisions and not you. Like the saying goes, go to the place that treats you the best. So, sometime in 2024, I might be gone. I will first try Thailand, then the Philippines, then Vietnam, Malaysia, and last Bali. They say that Bali is so great that many people never leave. Thus, Bali has to be last, or I might not get to visit any other country. However, many other people say that the island of Tahiti is better than Bali. Another way to live. Maybe one day I will buy a sailboat. Because you can go to some of the most beautiful places and have a whole island to yourself for months. The Philippines has over 7,000 islands. All of them are only a day's sail from a major area. Thus, you can sail to a major city, get your supplies, download Netflix, then sail back to your own little private piece of heaven. Plus, since you are living on your own boat, you have all the comforts and conveniences of home. Plus, with solar panels you might never run out of electricity, thus includes fresh water, air condition, a washing machine, and a dishwasher. You can also sail the Mediterranean in the summer and visit Paris, Italy, Greece, and Spain, then sail the Caribbean for the winter. The cost to live on a sailboat, with an upper middle class American lifestyle, and sail full time for two people is about $2,500 a month, and with two teenage kids, it increases to $3,500 a month. This includes food, fuel, medical and boat insurance, all of it. The $2,500 a month is the same, even if you are in the Mediterranean, Tahiti, or the Maldives. 
This couple is Dan, who is from Canada, and Kika, who is from Haiti. They have not had jobs in three years. They make most of their money from YouTube and Patreon. They purchased a one-bedroom, one-bath sailboat for $3,000, but it took them six months to make it safe to sail, and another two years to where you see it now. The boat is now worth over $140,000. They have sailed all over the Caribbean and Europe. This couple is Ryan, who is from the United States, and Sophie, who is from France. They purchased a two-bedroom, two-bath sailboat for $95,000. In the summer, they sail the Mediterranean, and in the winter, they sail the Caribbean. It costs them $2,500 a month. They make most of their money from working over the internet. I will leave a link to these YouTube channels in the description below. The best part of this kind of lifestyle is that you are not spending 70% of your time at work, and only really seeing your wife and kids on the weekends. You are spending almost 100% of your time with your wife and kids. Plus, there are a lot of people who raised families with kids on a sailboat. Plus, others who have their dogs sail with them all over the world. I added this part to the video to show that there are other ways to live. Yes, you are correct. I am advertising and promoting myself and all the men in America to women in other countries. If I do not do it, then who will? One more thing. About six years ago, I went to one of those foreign marriage websites. I just want to see what the women in Russia and Ukraine look like. However, to view a profile, I had to create a profile of my own. Within 24 hours, I got about 80 women wanting to talk to me. I thought that it was a mistake. So, I ignored it. The next day I got over 120 more women wanting to talk. I then checked my profile to see if I had made some kind of error. Within 4 days, I received over 400 women asking me to reply. This was way too much. I was overwhelmed. I took down my profile and closed my account. I decided that I will only talk to women I see on the street in other countries, no online stuff of any kind. Here in America, you might only be average, but in other countries, you might be a high value man. From watching other men's YouTube videos, men from Africa, black men from America, black men from Canada, and my little experience, I think this is true. What black men are looking for in a woman. If a man can cook, clean, and take care of himself, then what do we value in a woman? For most black men, and men in general, the following is not important to a man. A woman's education is not important to most men. A woman's job is not important to most men. How much money a woman has is not important to most men. If the woman has a car or a house is not important to most men. If the woman can or cannot speak good English is not important to most men. What is important is the following. The following is the answer to the question of what do you have to offer or what do you bring to the table. Every person who is a nice person, men and women, all have the same thing to offer, which are. I attempt to be caring, I attempt to be kind, I attempt to be affectionate, I attempt to be considerate, and I attempt to be understanding. I might not always be successful at achieving these goals, but at least I will always try. When a man comes home from work, we like to kiss our wife, and play with the kids. We want to be able to relax and enjoy our home with no foolish drama. This is what peace means to a man. A woman is the foundation or support of the family. The issue is can she build a foundation that can withstand a hurricane, a typhoon, or a tornado. There are many women that are part of a poor family that has foundations that can and do withstand a hurricane, a typhoon, or a tornado. Thus, it is not about money. This is why her having money or cannot speak good English is not important. It does not matter if the person is from a broken family, a single mother household, a two-parent household, or had traumatic events in their life. To have a good marriage, you only need three things from both people, which are consideration, understanding, and kindness to each other. A person who is considerate, kind, and understanding will take into account your feelings, what would hurt you, and what you would like. Yes, we will have disagreements and fights, but they will not be so hurtful. Plus, being considerate, kind, and understanding helps to create the emotional, psychological, and mental commitment that is needed for every relationship. This means that you know that whatever happens, they will always be there for you and you for them. This builds trust. 
This makes the woman feel secure, because now she knows that her husband might look at other women, but he will never be with any other woman because he would never want to hurt her. It makes the man feel secure because he knows you will never leave him one day for a guy who has more money or is better looking. That the only thing you are doing is flirting. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video. I have speech issues, which is why most of my videos are computer generated voiceovers. Plus, it is hard to edit your own voice. For all my foreign viewers, most translation software is not 100% accurate. So, sorry about any mistakes. One more thing. I now have 10 YouTube channels, so I cannot respond to comments. For a free copy of my music, go to my website. Remember, my music is only background music. Right now, my music is free, but if I have to start paying for extra services, then I might have to set a price for a download. If you want to know how to create your own music, then go to my other YouTube channel and look for the word GarageBand. Creating your own music is easy. I did it and I cannot play a musical instrument. If you want to know how to translate a video into other languages, then go to my other YouTube channel and look for the word translate. The links are in the description below.